All right, friends, we have a really fun project. It is blowing up to 50 miles an hour outside. It's insane, insane. So we thought something really cool. We are gonna take our juggernaut arrows. These are the arrows that we used and that we flew back into the pavilions with and just bashed into a whole bunch of stuff. They're fiberglass. And we're gonna combine it with our FT Aura 5. And so what we're gonna be testing is, first of all, can these things fly in this crazy yeah. mile an hour wind? Also, can the Aura board allow us to do launch assist, which yep. you just chuck it in the plane yeah. and let it go? I'm gonna, put the, I'm gonna put the transmitter on the ground, put it in launch assist, and I'm gonna just chuck it and, and see what happens. And then on top of that, if it does all that stuff, we're gonna go put it to the limits and see what we could possibly do in this crazy 50 mile an hour gust of wind. It's either gonna be an epic failure or an epic success, nothing in between. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Do it. All right, friends, so here's the concept. We have some crazy weather coming today. We're gonna call this a half a hurricane. We have 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts, no rain, fortunately. So we thought this would be a really good opportunity to see how much wind is too much wind to fly in. Uh, for this, we're gonna be using our FT Aero and also our FT Aura board. Now the FT Aero has been around for a long time here. This has been a plan that we designed specifically to go around multi-rotor motors so people can get in the hobby economically and have a really great experience. We designed this with two of our good friends, Phil Freybot and Schizo, to kind of get their perspective from kind of going from the quad world to the wing world. Little do we know that this would be probably one of the most popular wings out there, especially within the FT lineup here. So the FT Aero has been made in many different ways. If it's a trainer, you want to put a power pack A in it, it gives you nice gentle flight characteristics, but you can also go with a really extreme race quad motor, which will give it almost 100 mile an hour performance and force out capabilities. We even developed our recent value bundle where we take a, a race spec motor, uh, one of our FT20 MPSCs, and you can couple that with a four cell battery which gives you darn near 100 mile an hour speed, incredible efficiency, and crazy power. These are our FT Aero value bundles, but what we've done is we've used fiberglass, and Noah, you actually fiberglass these, and we now affectionately call them juggernauts because because they're pretty much indestructible. We actually flew this right into pavilions to see how strong it was. It dented the beams of the pavilions and they're still flying good. Just a little bit of cracked paint here. Today, since we're gonna have some really crazy wind and we anticipate some crashes, we're gonna bring our juggernauts back and we're gonna take out the existing receiver and we're gonna put in our FT Aura 5. Now this has been around for about a year and a half now. We developed this in collaboration with our dear friends at Flex Innovation, and this is kind of like a great starting point for the whole entire Aura line. What this is is basically a flight stabilizer that gives you both three axis, which takes away the effects of the wind, but also gives you six axis gyros. And what that basically means in simple terms is you have the ability for the plane to level off on its own. Now this is a really good feature because it used to be that if you wanted to get into the hobby, you had to pick a trainer, and that's definitely still high Highly recommended to do so. The really great thing about the FT Aura 5 is really your passions can define your first experience. We've trained kids as young as seven years old how to fly off of our mini Corsairs simply by dropping this in. Uh, this basically makes every airplane a trainer through its self-leveling abilities. We're also gonna be testing out today when we drop this in, launch assist. Basically has this feature, so whether you're hand launching or whether you're taking off the ground, the plane's gonna keep its wings level and it's gonna establish a certain degree angle of climb. In this case, it's about 30 degrees up. All you simply need to do is give it throttle and give it a toss into the wind and it takes care of the rest. The second you touch the controls, it gives the controls back for you. We thought what better time than to have 50 to 60 mile an hour winds out there to see if launch assist and this wing combined will actually work together to give us a successful flight. So our goal is very simple here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna install this. This is gonna be a stock tune, no computers required. We're gonna show you how to convert this to a wing and then we're gonna go right outside and we're gonna see what happens. Whatever happens, good or bad, you guys are gonna see it. All right guys, so while Josh is over there programming the Aura 5 board for us to go fly, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor of this episode and that is our friends over at Raycon. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by making these awesome wireless earbuds. They're not only great sounding, but they come in like half the price of other premium wireless earbuds. And they're trying to do things a little bit differently than the other brands out there to the way they design their products and to the way that they price them. Another cool thing about Raycon is they offer their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options and no dangling wires or stems, which is probably the best part. So obviously everybody's loving these Raycon earbuds, even celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Melissa Etheridge, J.R. Smith, just to name a few. And probably one of my favorite things about just the Raycon brand in general and these wireless earbuds is that they offer a 45 day money back guarantee. So let's unpack these Raycon wireless earbuds. These Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, 
more bass, which is something I really enjoy, and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. So whether you're taking up a new hobby or just wanna make your day to day a little bit more comfortable, Raycons are the perfect way to bring premium audio to pretty much everything that you do. So last but not least, if you wanna grab yourself a pair of awesome Raycon wireless earbuds, click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash flight test to get 15% off your Raycon order. Once again, that's 15% off your Raycon purchase. If you go down to the description below, click on that link. Now you're not only getting sweet wireless earbuds, but you're also helping out flight tests in the process to allow us to make premium content for you guys to watch for free. So big shout out to you guys for watching and Raycon for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to Josh and see if he's done with that Aura board. All right, so just typical flight test fashion, we've already scalped this other receiver. Uh, the really cool thing about the FT Aura 5 is the channel mapping. Now out of the box, there's a little quick set guide here and it'll tell you exactly what servos to plug into what ports. And I already got a little hole. We covered up the velcro here, pass that through. You can see that this arrow doesn't have the typical center section like our other arrows do. And that was because we wanted to fiberglass the whole entire thing and have the battery external. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use a spot right here and attach my aura there. It's not gonna be the most protected, so I may crash this and break it, but I'll take that risk. All right, so we're really proud of the FT Aura 5 board because you don't need a computer to get your basic tune. The tune that we worked with with Flex Innovation is so amazing because you can go from a model this size all the way up to one of our big monsters. As long as the speed's about the same, it's just gonna simply work. So I got this all plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and power this on. It's already bound. Here's the cool thing. Typically, you'd have to go into a computer and you'd have to configure it and say, I have Elevons, I have this. And we do have a really cool configuration tool that's really user friendly. But if you notice here, I have no elevator. All I need to do is simply hold down these two buttons here. There, that flashing green light means it's basically in quick set mode. Now, at this point on, the guide would tell me to put this into Elevon mode. All I simply need to do is hold down on the trim button. Now, watch this. instant elevons. Now at this point, we gotta make sure the controls are right. And part of the vision around the FT Aura 5 board was that you don't need to have a complicated radio to do complicated things. All the mixes, the tunes, the different features you can have are all stored right in the Aura. That means if you go from one radio to another, you could have one dumb radio. You could have a $69 radio with no programming at all and no model memory and just simply bind a whole bunch of different Auras. All the sub trims, all the trims, all the mixing, all that stays with the radio. So you can see right now we have our elevons here. Elevator's right and Elevon's wrong. We don't do any mixing here. All we simply need to do is hold the controls all the way to the right or the left for about five or six seconds. Watch what happens. There it is. When it recognizes the fact that we gotta reverse the ailerons, it automatically reverses the gyros. The last thing I wanna do here is I wanna activate something called level assist. And level assist is gonna be where it goes from three axis mode like it's currently in to where it gives us the ability to have level assist. Now for you beginners out there, this is an amazing feature that's gonna give you a great experience whether you're a new pilot or whether you wanna teach somebody else. You're gonna see this glitch two times. One, two. And now when I exit out of this, I'm gonna have all my modes. So I'm gonna exit out of this right now. And this isn't meant to be a tutorial. I just kinda wanna walk you through the vision of the FT Aura on the arrow. At this point, we're gonna take this out and fly it. All right, man, we're here. You ready? <laughs> All right, so we're at the top of ready made mid runway. This has some pretty sick ridge lift. Yeah. Ridge lift is where the air goes up the hill and it creates lift. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. That's pretty awesome. First thing I'm gonna try to do, I'm just gonna try to hand launch this. If this actually flies, I'm gonna try to launch this. We'll commit to put this on the ground. All right, everyone be safe Good here. luck, sir. Yeah! 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 Dude, look at those elevons just working. It is so windy. It's best if I fit up. Look at that. Do you see that? It's so windy. This gust cold with the wind was best up my stability. I'm half, I'm half throttle on a four cell. Oh my gosh, look! <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> Are you going on right now? She's just like right there, the wind is right. her back. Alright, I'm gonna land this and we're gonna put it launch this. Let's fall back. You guys ready? Alright, launch this. Ha <laughs> ha! 
gonna throttle a little over, hovering with a four cell. Alright, I'm gonna bring her down. <laughs> <laughs>